So we are now just 5 days away from the release of the first beta of iOS 17, an update which initially was believed to be mostly focused on improvements and performance and just have a few minor features. But it looks like it will be an amazing update. During the past few weeks we had a lot of leaks, a lot of reports regarding the new features that are coming to iOS 17 and it looks like this update will be amazing and also this update will mark a point where iOS updates will actually change forever. It will change the way you update your iPhone. So in this video we're going to talk all about this update, everything we know until now because from now on I don't believe we will see any more news as it's very close to the release of the first beta and a lot of sources that have been leaking features of iOS 17 have actually been cracked down by Apple so don't expect any new features to be leaked regarding the new iOS 17 update. But we have a lot of those. First of all we will talk about something that we have already had this confirmed by Apple. These are features that Apple has actually previewed and it will have some really amazing features. This one right here is called live speech. So basically any user can just type anything and the iPhone will speak out that in a call or maybe in a conversation face to face. That's really, really cool. You will also have personal voice where you can actually record your voice and then anything you type, your iPhone will actually read that with your own voice, which is really amazing. And we will have another here, another accessibility feature which of course will be useful for a lot of people. This one is called assistive access where it will change the UI of your iPhone to these bigger buttons. You can see more contrast, bigger buttons and we will also have here when you go to this new assistive mode with accessibility, you will have this app right here which is named calls which will make basically merge the phone and the FaceTime call into one and make it very very easy for people to actually make calls and FaceTime calls. There will be another really useful feature for the magnifier app. It is called detection mode where you can just point the magnifier and it will speak out for you. So you point it at an object, it will speak the object to you. Also users will be able to customize the speed to which Siri will talk to them. So if you want Siri to talk to you slower, you will be able to actually adjust that on the new settings of iOS 17 and all these have actually been previewed by Apple and are confirmed to come to the new iOS 17. Next up, let's talk about features and changes of iOS 17 that have the same been reported from multiple sources. And first of them is the health app. So the health app is getting a major upgrade with iOS 17. We will get a lot of new interfaces here for the favorites and all that. You will get a new layout. And also the health app is finally coming to the iPad. When talking about apps, the wallet app also is getting a major upgrade and new interface with iOS 17. Now also something that has been reported by a lot of sources is that Apple is looking to add a lot of features that have been requested by users. Now we don't know yet what that means, but of course a lot of users will just request some features that are actually quite simple maybe to implement on iOS, but Apple hasn't just added them to iOS yet. Like the ability maybe to clear all apps at once here, that would be pretty cool even though it's better to keep the apps on the app switch right there, but a lot of people actually prefer closing them. So Apple will most likely add that button with iOS 17 as they are looking to add these features that have been requested by a lot of users for a lot of time, which they call basically according to a report by Mark Grumman, it is called like nice to have features, features that have been requested again for a long time. Now another thing that has been reported by a lot of sources, even though lately no one is mentioning this, is the new control center. Now, a new control center has been rumored to come to iOS for a really long time. It was supposed actually to come with iOS 16, but it didn't happen. Now we have to wait and see this beta, the first beta of iOS 17, if it will be here, but most likely Apple is gonna change the current control center, which actually has been the same for a really, really long time. That would be really amazing. Now, one thing I would actually prefer is the ability to invoke the control center from the bottom here. That makes it actually much easier, especially with these bigger iPhones. And now let's move on to some really recent leaks by Mark Grumman, who is a very, very trusted source when it comes to Apple related stuff. And one of them is this right here. Now, this is, of course, a render that I have done with Photoshop, which 
it might look something like this, maybe it will look nothing like this, but it's basically a standby mode for the iPhones with the always on display. Now this will work on the lock screen when the iPhone is locked and is on the horizontal basically mode. This is the only way it will show up on your iPhone. So according to Grooman, this will show info, live info and notifications as well. So it should be really, really nice and hopefully with a lot of options to actually customize this and of course, personalize it the way you want. Another thing that has been rumored to come from our Grooman are improvements to location services. And there will also be a lot of improvements on AirPlay and SharePlay. So with AirPlay, Apple is actually looking at to make it more easier for users to actually connect like TVs, maybe on hotels and things like that. So a lot of improvements should come to AirPlay and also SharePlay with iOS 17. These are some of the latest leaks and of course reports by Mark Grumman, who is again a very, very trusted source when it comes to Apple related stuff. And now let's move on and talk about the lock screen. So, you know, with iOS 16, we have a whole new lock screen with of course, all kinds of different options and it's completely different from iOS 15. But it's Apple, of course, is looking to add more to this and make it even better. And with iOS 17, we're most likely getting new font size options and also additional customizations for emoji wallpapers. You will also be able to share your lock screen. So you create a lock screen, you can just share it with someone just like the watch faces. That's of course, very, very good, very nice feature to have. And also we're looking at a grid view for the wallpaper. So you know that on iOS 16, you will have to actually slide to switch between different wallpapers. And if you have a ton of them, that's really, really hard to do. And it will take quite a long time, but we're getting a great view with iOS 17, which will make it very easy for you to actually move through your wallpapers. Now, another thing we're getting on the lock screen are lyrics for Apple Music. So, you know, currently we only have basically the player right here, but with iOS 17, there is a rumor that we will have the ability to also show the lyrics, of course, for the songs that support them, show them right here on the screen of your iPhone. There are reports also for changes on the app library. Now, app library is cool and all that. It's pretty useful. You can find apps pretty easy, but since it's released, it hasn't changed anything at all. And it's actually the same and you can not customize it or do anything with it. But with the release of iOS 17, we're most likely getting some new features, the ability to rename folders. That's what has been reported. Also use custom categories. So basically create a new folder with your own categories and also other features that will be able to use to actually organize your apps better and maybe the way you like it and not just have like an automatic layout here that does everything for you. It doesn't matter how you would like it to be. It will just do anything. It will basically re reorganize it for you. But with these new features, you will have more in hand here and will be able to actually make this your own and use it the way you like it. And now let's move on and talk about something really interesting and that's side loading. Now side loading is coming with iOS 17. We know that because Apple has to do it to basically compile with the laws in EU. But what is happening here is that the alternatives to the App Store side loading is only coming to the EU. That will be a feature only available in EU, not anywhere else. So it would be, it will actually be really interesting to see how Apple will implement this and how th that will work. But we will have to wait and see for that. But yes, side loading is coming, but unfortunately only in EU. And now let's talk about some other features that are expected to come to iOS 17 that have been out there, have been rumored, but we don't know whether they're coming or not. We just have heard about them. They have been basically speculated. Hopefully some of them will make it to iOS 17. One of them is a new slider for the flashlight on the control center. Now, if you currently use this, you will have like four different levels, but it should, it will actually be a slider just like this one. So it can adjust the brightness of your flashlight from the control center. Another one will be active home screen widgets. Now this has been rumored to come for a long time. One source that is actually very trusted, but it has been taken down by Apple, said that they're working on this and they might or might not come to iOS 17, but surely Apple has been working on interactive widgets on the home screen with buttons, sliders, and all that. That would be pretty cool. 
having something like this on the home screen would actually be really really awesome another thing another rumor is a redesign for the apple music app so a complete redesign for the music app I think it's possible it might come to iOS 17. The music app is actually not that good. Hopefully Apple will make it better with this new update. There will be also updates to the dynamic island. So with iOS 17, you can expect a few different changes for the dynamic island and that including notifications from different apps and also Siri. So an interface for Siri coming to the dynamic island is very, very possible for the new iOS 17. Another thing that I have seen is a report for a new interface for the camera app, which is basically the same for a long time now. But the report says that this will most likely be a change, a feature that will come only for the new iPhones, the iPhone 15 and the older iPhones will basically get the exact same camera app. There will be also more filters for the focus mode. So currently on the focus modes, we have only a few different filters here. There should be a lot more with iOS 17 and improved spotlights and search section. And also a lot of changes are coming to notifications and of course, additional notification settings. So these are some of the new features that have been reported coming to iOS 17. This is basically on this video. You could just hear everything we currently know about iOS 17 which we will see coming here in five days from now. And now for the last part of this video, let's talk about updating. One thing we are not sure until now is whether the A11 devices will be supported or not. I actually believe they won't be supported because of the bug that they have. Like they can just be always jailbroken and they are the only devices supported currently that have that bug which cannot be fixed. I think Apple will actually drop those devices. Those are, those are of course the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and the iPhone 10, but we will have to wait and see for that. Otherwise, updating will be very, very different this year. So you know that Apple has made a change and that change will mark the change of updating to betas. Previously, all you had to do is download a profile and update to iOS 16 or 15, whichever one beta you installed. But from now on, that won't be able to be to happen. So of course, if you have a dev account, which is $100 a year, you can update to iOS 17. And that account can actually be used on multiple iPhones. You can have, I believe, 100 iPhones on the same account. And Apple has made it very easy for you to add that account and just update your device. So if you go to settings, go to general, go to software update right here, you will see the update for the betas. Now, if you have a different Apple ID on your iPhone, you can have the Apple ID that is registered as a dev ID right here, just tap on it and you can add that without having to change the complete Apple ID of your device. And with iOS 17, you can add your own here or maybe use some one of your friends and update to iOS 17. Once it's out, you will see something like this here. Of course, you will have your dev here and the public beta which will be released way, way later, probably like five to six weeks at least after the release of iOS 17. But this is the only way now to update to iOS 17. You will no longer be able to update through the profile. You will have to select the dev beta right here. And once it comes out, of course, you will be able to update from here. Hopefully it will come out very, very soon after the event probably minutes after the event is done, we will see the first beta of iOS 17, which again should be really, really exciting. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next one.